we're going to choose what we're going to paint and we can change it if you want so looking at the available space here there's the horizon line this is all about shape you draw it here you can change it later anytime so also have the some reflection of the tree some reflection so we're playing on this space what we're going to do now i'm going to print the last shape is just the the boat and the dock put the sun over here and right under the the sun and the water that's the reflected area and also i have a bigger white shape over here how are we going to paint this we have this guy we need to wash it and and we have the the light area the sun how are we going to do that do we want to lift off the color for the sun or do we want to leave the circle because it's so white we're going to leave the circle there mm -hmm. and after it drive we're going to soften wash the edge so we're going to have a little transition there right so we're going to also leave that too and do the same technique i think we're going to wash the sky color all the way into the water colors and ignore those dark shades we're ready to paint we get the blue color here. It's good. And what we're gonna do is start getting a big load of water and we're gonna start right outside the frame. Okay. And we're gonna make it even more, more blue color, make it a little darker. Like that. And then next one I'm gonna do and when it's still wet, I am changing to some yellow colors. But if just yellow, it may be a little turn into green color. So I'm going to make a little red color first. So just some red color. Take a look. I'm going to connect that. A little bit more red. Just the red. When it's still wet, I'm going to go around the sun like that and we're going to fix the edge and then underneath that I'm going to put some yellow colors because there's a red color in between it won't look like a green colors Like that nice guy let's keep coming down and in the water it's just the opposite the water over here and we're gonna leave there there's a white spot don't touch it and but there's some blue color around maybe a little kind of not bright blue colors like this not that bright remember i'm painting the color for the gap okay right here let the color merge together and then coming down here we're gonna have a little red colors right Maybe too much. Let's see. A little bit yellow colors. Okay. Paint it around the white space. And then we keep going into the blue colors. a little bit more blue color 
Iya. So we done the first one. And what about here? This is part of the dark shape. We can do that after the drive, and then we fill in the dark shape. We're gonna leave it for a few minutes. Okay. Let it dry. We're putting the dark shape. So dark shape is a, a wet in wet, gradually change color from dark color turn into warm, a brighter color over here, and then back to the dark colors. Okay, let's see. A dark purple colors. Dark purple colors, good. Mostly cool on the side. Here we go. Move it a little bit of uneven. Like that. Coming here, gradually getting in and closer and closer to the under the sun area. Okay, let's make the color a little bit darker. Get ready to leave the gap. Okay. okay. Now, careful, you don't want to wait too long because the color could getting dry. When the color getting dry, you cannot really do the wet and wet effect. And now, when they're coming closer, now I'm going to introduce uh, red colors. I do a little a bit exaggeration in these colors. And that star turning back to the purple colors, a little bit more blue. Now you see this is a brighter, warm color because right under the sun, uh, I might be put a little bit more red. I don't want to introduce too much water, so get rid of some of the water. Probably just going to move the red color around. Get still wet in the color is still wet. So what I'll put it here, it will get smoother uh, when it starts settling. So okay. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back here to continue this color and make a little bit more red and then close to the center like this, a little bit more red. Like that. And continue. When it close to away from the center, I have a little blue color. So I'm gonna a little blue color at the at the side like that and I'm gonna also add uh, a little red color at the edge and also water to soften the and have a little lighter value. This is the reflection of the tree. And what I want to do, I'm going to drive my brush. It's just going to continue that color gradually, turning into like a little dry brush. Two, like this. Now we finish one shape. 
And now I'm going to come down to walking onto uh, the boats. So it's a purple color with a little yellow, like a little brownish colors, maybe a little darker, a little bit more red. Okay, that's good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to putting it to the whole area, including, I know some areas it will be even darker, but we're going to put dark colors on top. The warmer, a little darker colors. Okay, here we go. Yes. Even some areas are going to be darker, but by putting it in the whole area first, and then we're going to make some areas even darker. So. Some shape like this. Some shape. Like that as the reflection. And draw a little vertical line, some vertical line, some vertical line, even longer. And then also at this time, I can tap on that. Maybe somewhere a little more. And a little smaller shape. making sure the brush is really, really clean. What we want to do, we want to soften the edge. Let's use a bigger brush. This brush, you can make it act as a round brush. It has a lot of hair. That's it. And let's see. Here too, a little softer. Okay, that's good from top. Now we're gonna do something at the bottom. Through this process, you're gonna break some of the shape, but don't worry. We're gonna reshape it if we want to. This shape is so good. And also going to clean up the shape over here. Good. At the same time, what I want to do, I'm going to use the round brush and try to make that white, really white shape to return to this area. Okay. I think this is good. A little wider now. And next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make this area a little bit darker, to too sharp. What I want to do is to take this colors, 
a little gray colors, uh, very light. I'm going to just start on the side and get into this area and like that. It's good. That probably too dark. Return that. Okay. So that have less contrast was what we want. And now we're gonna leave this area to drive. And before we come back there and uh, maybe fill in some bright colors. So what we're gonna do, over here, we want to put in some darker shape because when we fix this, this color and getting drier and drier. And let's see. Okay, here we go. Now it's the shadow side of the shape. Mm, looking at the reference, so you can see where it should be darker. It's not exactly dry, 100%. That's okay, let's keep it going. putting a little red color right under the sun. It's really bright. Like that. And on the other side, has some blue colors. And it has Getting back some red colors here too. Yeah. Okay. Little dry brush. And now we come back to the sky to do a little cloud over there. So it's a very uh, light gray colors have a little bit blue and what i'm going to do i'm going to starting over here and then we don't need to make it too dark and a couple broken shape on the, on the side When you get close to here, it has some yellow colors. So I'm gonna put some yellow color in the shape over here. Because affecting by the sun. Okay. 